All right, welcome to Mr. Gray's vlog number one. Appreciate you guys being here and following my journey in the pursuit of greatness. And hopefully the things that I'm doing and some of the things that I've learned along the way will inspire you, motivate you, or help you get further along with your goals and dreams as well. So this is gonna be usually a weekly vlog unless something really crazy happens to stall me or to make sure I get on camera right away for you guys. So let's recap the last seven or so days. Well, in our business, financial services, uh, we've recruited and are now training three new agents. So that's exciting. They're younger, they're ambitious, they're great people, they're competitive, and they're coachable and that's exciting. We've already done plans for some of their friends and family, which is resulting in them following those plans, getting out of debt faster, saving a ton of money, uh, and getting on the road to financial independence. There's no better feeling than that, but to see the new agent learn that, get more excited about the business, and say, I could do that, that's really great. Uh, also, in that mix, we found two rip-off policies one was one sold to a 20-year-old single girl paying way too much uh, for not enough coverage. And then one was to a family that had a lot of other extra benefits that were way overvalued or overpriced, I should say. So that was good to replace both of those. It's easy, guys. You get the policy, you break it down. It's good. Um, and one of the people we're training, he, his family is five hours away. So we're able to do a screen share with his mom. She's ecstatic. It's great to see that she was skeptical at first, and by the time we were done, she's loving it and upping her commitment. So that was good. Uh, and, and most exciting in the business front in that area is Michelle has really grown. She was able to do an IBA on her own. She's able to do a fast start on her own and some other uh, appointments. So that was good. On the investment side of things, helped two clients invest. Uh, $50,000 in the last week or so, so that's good to get their money growing. And I had a coffee appointment with my mentor, Daryl, and really we were just talking about him going back after it, and I was fine-tuning the things that I'm doing to build my business. Right now we have 14 agents and growing, and you know what the secret is? There's no secret. It's get your ass to work, right? It's all about doing more, a lot more of what's already working, and so that's what I'm focused on doing. This morning, today's Friday, this morning woke up at 5.30, got the kids ready, had breakfast with them, and then I left out the door and went to B&I, Business Network International Group. We have 21 people where we help each other with referrals and work on our businesses, so that was great. This week I'm super excited. Within the last week or two, I've been taking on this YouTube thing. Uh, besides consuming content, I've never thought about creating content or how to do it. And so now I'm learning how to edit things. So these videos, from an editorial uh, point of view, is going to be better over the long run. Uh, I still got a lot to go there, but learning how to use all the apps. And it's really exciting. You know, when you're growing, when you're learning something new, when you're feeling challenged, what does that feel like to you? I bet it feels amazing because... I know it puts more life into me and everyone else around us. You know, Tony Robbins said, if you're growing and you're also being grateful, showing gratitude or thinking about what you're grateful for, you're gonna be happy. No depression, no other stuff. So no matter where you're at in life, make sure you're thinking about what you're really grateful for and um, make sure you're growing towards something. Uh, so YouTube is exciting. Also, my wife and I, we're focused on hitting the gym and getting healthy and fit again. We've been doing okay lately, but now we're on it more and more together, so that's great. And if you haven't seen it already, check on the channel. I did my first book review. Let me know your thoughts on, on if you liked it, what things could have been better, what things could have been worse. Again, over time, I know they're going to be better, but that was uh, exciting. And as you know, I'm going to read 50 books this year and break them down for you guys, um, which is a major challenge. I've never read that many books before, but definitely looking forward to it. So it's been a busy week. Other things in there is my son's basketball. His last weekend, his, he won the tournament uh, for the seventh graders in the area out here, and he had two phenomenal games. 
and they went 4-0 to win the tournament, so that was great. And then, of course, I've had prospecting uh, appointments as well as networking appointments outside of some of the things I mentioned. So the week ahead, uh, it's not booked out as much as it should be, so my focus today and the next couple of days is a lot more prospecting and booking appointments and training the new people and then go see those appointments and make things happen from there. So stay tuned. I'll be back next week to give you vlog number two. And until then, join me in the pursuit of greatness.